Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we will finally go ahead and learn how to basically make the save button functional. So right now for the moment we have the code for the add image as well as try. So even before we start coding the save button let's go ahead and check if these two buttons actually perform the function correctly. So even before running your application or installing your application on the device what you need to do here is that you need to add an external permission over here which says uses permission and the permission name is read external storage. So in the android manifest.xml this is the line of code which I have added. So you do need to make sure that you include this permission and once you do that you are good to go to run your application. So I'm basically going to save the code and run this application and see how it works. Okay so the application is up and running on my device so let me just record the screen and as you could see I click the add image button it is going to show me this intent so I'm going to select gallery and I'm going to select this image right over here and let's say the top meme text is going to be something like uh, hello and the bottom meme text is going to be world. So when I hit try as you could see the text appears and the keyboard settles down and it actually clears up the screen. So if you could notice this image was actually clicked vertically henceforth it does not fit the entire image view and you are limited to add a certain amount of text here. But if you click an image with a normal resolution then it would be fine and you would have no issues. Okay so once this thing is done let me just save the recording real quick. Okay so now what we are going to do is that we are going to add in the functionality for the save button right over here. So if you click the save button the method associated with this is save image. So what we need to do is that we need to create a method which is nothing but the save image method. So let me just go to the main activity and let me just create a method here called as save image. So that's going to be public void save image. This is going to take a view. So once this thing is done the entire code is going to go over here. So now what we wish to do here is that we wish to take the screenshot of that particular area of our application. So now in order to save this meme image what we need to do is that we need to actually take the screenshot of this particular area of our application by writing some code. So for that purpose what we do is that we create two methods. The first method is going to be to basically get the screenshot and that method is actually going to be called as get screenshot method and the next method which we are going to use is going to be called as the store method which is actually going to store that particular screenshot. So now let's go ahead and start creating those methods. So let me just go back to the main activity. So the first method is get screenshot. So that's going to be public static and it's actually going to return the bitmap image. So we'll type in the type as bitmap and the method name is get screenshot. And after that let's pass in the view to this thing as well. And now what we do is that the first thing which we need to do is that we need to set this particular views drawing cache as enabled. So what we do is that we type in view dot set drawing cache enabled as true. And once this thing is done we basically get the bitmap image from this particular drawing cache. So for that we create a bitmap variable or bitmap object. So that's going to be bitmap equals bitmap dot create bitmap. And we basically want to create the bitmap from the view. So we type view dot get view dot get drawing cache. And after this, what we do is that we set the drawing cache enabled as false. So here we type view dot set drawing cache enabled as false. So it returns back to its original state. And then finally, once we get the bitmap, we return the bitmap from this function. So we type return bitmap. So now once we have this bitmap what we need to do is that we need to create a store function and what the store function is actually going to do is that it's actually going to take two values that is the bitmap itself which is returned from this function and another value which is going to be the file name value. So let's create the store function as well. So that's going to be public and this is not going to return anything so that's going to be void store. 
then create a bitmap variable let's name it as bm and the string for the file name so this is nothing but the actual location where your file is going to be stored so now let's get access to the actual directory path where the image is going to be stored so that's going to be string let's name this variable as dir path equals environment dot we need to get the external storage public directory so this is actually get external storage directory but we want to get the external storage public directory so we type get external storage public directory and to this what we do is that we basically get the path for dcim so we type in environment dot directory dcim and convert it to a string so that we could store the string value in this variable right here now the next thing which we do is that we check if this directory path actually exists and if it exists then it's actually fine but if it does not exist then we make that particular directory so we type file dir equals new file let's pass in the directory path over here and now we will check if the directory is actually existing so if not dir that is if the directory does not exist so dot exists if that happens then we use the mkdir command to make the directory so dir dot mkdir and after that what we do is that we create a new file again so file file equals new file and to this you pass in the directory path which is this and then you pass in the file name as well so once this thing is done what you need to do is that you basically need to pass in the bitmap which is nothing but bm to that particular file so for that what you do is that you create a file output stream and you basically initialize it to null then what you do is that you basically compress the bitmap image and pass it to that particular file and then finally close the file so we will place this code in the try block so that's going to be try file output stream let's name it as fos let's initialize it to null initially and then next thing which we do is that we pass in the file path which is nothing but this thing over here to that particular file output stream so fos equals new file output stream pass in the file over here and then finally compress the bitmap so that we could go ahead and pass it to this file output stream so bm dot compress then type in bitmap dot compress format and we specify the compress format as png because we want the image in the form of png and let's pass in the file output stream again and then finally flush the file output stream by typing fos dot flush and then finally close the file output stream so fos dot close so once this thing is done what you want to do is that you want to display the user a message like the file is now successfully saved so for that you type in toast dot make text that is you basically go ahead and create a toast pass the context as this you want to display a message as saved and let's set the length of this toast to toast dot length long and finally show this toast so once this thing is done as you could see we are left with the catch block so catch let's say it has the file not found exception so file not found exception let's name it as e and basically print it over here so print stack trace and again we have to handle another exception which is the io exception let's name it e and let's also print it up over here so as you could see once you do these things it, the error actually disappears now the next thing which you need to do is that you need to call these two methods which is nothing but the get screenshot method and the show method over here so if you have a look at the get screenshot method we do need to pass in a view so that this method could actually take a screenshot so as i earlier mentioned you basically want the screenshot of this particular area and to get the screenshot of this particular area you do need its id so if you click over here as you could see this thing is nothing but a relative layout and the relative layout actually has an id which is lay 
So what we will do is that we will go to main activity and in the save image method, we type in view content. So we are basically getting a reference to that particular view. So find view by id r.id.lay. So once we get a reference to this, let's go ahead and call the get screenshot method. And to save the result, let's create a bitmap first. So bitmap bitmap equals get screenshot. And this is actually going to get the content view, which is nothing but this view over here. And after that, what we want to do is that we also need to set the name and call this particular method. So now we have the bitmap which can be passed to the store method, but we want to create the file name. So in order to create a file name, let's create a string variable and let's name it as current image. And we want to name it as meme plus the current timestamp. So we get the current timestamp by typing system dot that should actually be system so system again it's actually making a mistake over here so that should be system dot current time in milliseconds plus you want to give it an extension which is dot png so make sure to add it up over here and then finally once you have these two parameters you could pass these two parameters to the store method so that your image is actually stored so we type store over here and pass in the bitmap and the current image over here and we are basically good to go so once you are done with this your application is ready and hopefully this should work when we run this on our device so let me just go ahead run this on my device and we'll see how this thing works okay so let me just go ahead and add the same image which we have added previously which is this one and let's type in hello wall hit try button so we have it now let's click save and we actually didn't got any toast here that means something actually went wrong so i'm going to pause this video and i'm going to check for errors in the app and i'll be back soon Okay, so I finally found my mistake and the thing was uh, as we have added the read external storage permission to the manifest, you also need to add write external storage permission so that you are finally able to write that image on your device or your memory card's memory. So once you add this permission, I've tested the app, it, it runs actually quite well. So let me just save the code and once again run this application and show you guys how this thing performs. And let me just add an image over here, which is going to be the same image, which is this. Let me just type in hello world. Click on try. And let me just click on save. And as you could see, we get the toast as saved. Now let me just open up my gallery. And in here, it's going to be saved in DCIM and as you could see uh, this image is actually the older image which I have saved and the thing is that it and the thing is that it takes a while for the image to appear over here so if your image does not appear in gallery that's actually not the applications problem it's actually your devices issue because in some versions of Android the thing is that the image takes quite a bit of time to show up in the gallery and now as I could see on my device the new meme image actually appeared on my device as well so the image which I showed you guys was actually when I previously tested the app wherein I typed in hello there and now while showing you guys the demo it was hello world and this actually works quite well on your phone so if you have any issues while running this application then please feel free to let me know and i will be there to help you out and also i will be uploading uh, the entire source code of this application in a separate text file down there so make sure to check it out and it should actually work quite well so that's it for this lecture and i hope you guys enjoyed making this meme app so now you could make any kind of memes as you want so make memes and share them with your friends so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time thank you